Hazleton Public Transit cut the ribbon on its $26 million bus storage facility in Hazel Township today. Fox 56's Josh O'Coolum takes us to Luzerne County where he spoke to officials about the building and its impact on the area. This new facility puts all of the greater Hazleton's bus needs in one place, from maintenance to cleaning. Officials say this is a big step to help the growing population through transportation. At 5 a.m. we start our routes. We take people to Wolfsbear to the, uh, they have doctor's appointments, courthouse appointments. We take them all over Luzerne, Carbon, and Schuylkill counties. And it's, we're seeing a great growth in pays it to public transit. This nearly 50,000 square foot facility has been in development for eight years and will now house Hazleton's vans and buses. Hazleton Public Transit Director Ralph Sharp says bus issues can now be fixed in-house in days versus sending them out for weeks. Having everything under one roof, we have control of everything. Our buses won't be left out. We know what's going on if something needs to be addressed and it's back out on the road next day, we'll never miss a beat. State Senator David Argel says with more jobs in the area, people need public transportation to get to work. How are they going to get to work? You're looking at it because the mayor is never going to be able to have four parking places per house in the city of Hazleton as fast as it is, is growing. It was built with state and federal funding. Pennsylvania Secretary of Transportation Mike Carroll says transit makes life easier for everyone, and this expansion helps transportation grow. The transit facility uh, gets, sets the table for future growth. The uh, Commonwealth's investment, both current investment and potential future investment, would be the additional uh, ingredients that we need to advance service hours, uh, service routes, uh, and advance shared ride as well. In Hazel Township, Joshua Coulom, Fox 56 News, First 10. The facility also can fuel the compressed natural gas-powered buses, and Transit hopes to have all its buses run on it by the end of the year.